So one of the things that I love talking about in this room is family time and Grandmommy would certainly love that. Hi, I'm Paige Killian and I'm passionate about helping busy moms of littles get organized in three simple steps. So here's today's organization motivation. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me for some more organization motivation. I'm actually joining you today from Tennessee, where I've been all week. We are celebrating the incredible life of my beautiful grandmommy. And it was only fitting that I bring you around and show you some of the places that she has stayed when she comes to visit. We actually call this space that we're in right now the apartment. And this is a place that my 11 year old daughter totally has taken over and she thinks that it belongs to her. I wanted to show you a couple things that we did. We actually have some before photos that I want you guys to check out of this space. And I also want to talk to you about how we organized and styled it in three simple steps. So you guys know that I love the three E's. You've got your essentials, enhancements, and extras. And the essential I always talk about is a good purge. And that is exactly where we started in this space. We did an amazing purge. And then after we pulled everything out of this very misleading, tiny little attic closet, we have another one up here as well in the nursery that I'll show you soon. But we pulled everything out. I'm pretty sure I got rid of 13 yearbooks that had been mine from growing up. Lots of different things that we purged that we just didn't need anymore. We took some photos of our favorite things and then we let some things go. That brings me to the enhancement. That is the sale, yard sale, or donation of items that just aren't serving you anymore. So we actually did a mega yard sale. And then finally the extra. This is where we are now. This is when we style the space with the proper containers, organizers, and closets that we have. Also just really clearing the clutter to see all the blessings that God has for us. So one of the things that I love talking about in this room is family time and grandmommy would certainly love that. She's an avid puzzle player, so I'm gonna show you right here. We had to make sure that we had a table. This is one that I got from Ikea and we did a little tray. So if the kiddos wanna start doing a puzzle here, they can. If they're halfway through the process and they wanna watch TV, they just take that puzzle here and they slide it right under here temporarily. So this is a great option for storage underneath. If you can get a coffee table that has multiple levels or space for toys, perhaps. We definitely have that with our uh, coffee table at our house. Um, if you want to put some baskets underneath for storage, that works really well. And then in the meantime, again, it just houses a sweet little plant that we can't kill because it's a fake one. I got that from Target. That's awesome. The kiddos cannot spill dirt up here, which is incredible. And then we've got our TV remotes. So that was another thing. We decided we wanted to mount a TV. The cool thing about this TV is we've got our couch area here and then it just rotates all the way out. You can pull it all the way out. So that way you can watch it from bed as well. So I actually love Sherwin-Williams paint and up here, we used Olympus white. It has a little bit of blue tone in it. So I brought in the gray couches again to keep it super neutral because I know what's gonna happen. There's gonna be tons of primary colored toys up here at all times with the kids. So we wanna keep it really simple, really neutral. We did a couple of different things. So these were some fun little DIY projects. This was actually my mom's wooden crib. When she was a little girl, she played with this. This was my baby doll and <laughs> It says baby girl. This was actually my onesie that I wore on my body when I was little. So my kids love playing with that. We just gave it a fresh coat of paint. Uh, I think it's actually repose gray. And then we did the same thing. This was an old pink rocking chair and we wanted to make sure it just matched the space. And so my Isabel actually helped me paint this. And it's also repose gray from Sherwin Williams. We also decided to do this fun nightstand. Now this is something that you can actually have rollers on. I got this from Target and we've got multiple tiers because when my daughter is here, she loves to read her books in the summertime when she's visiting grandma papa. So we put all of her books down there that she's reading. And then here we have a fun little photo of how she and Graham dress up whenever they make their cookies. And then she's got a simple little cute plant and alarm clock. And then she's got her night light here. And we wanted to do something a little more fun and exciting for the kiddos. And so they love to curl up with this really fun fluffy pillow. 
I got a lot of this stuff from Target and Home Goods. Also super soft here, love. And then we had a couple of cute chairs that I just could not pass up. They're also from Home Goods and Marshalls. This one is a fun one. She, I always find her reading in this one. And then I actually did a podcast episode not that long ago on a sweet little reading nook. So this is their organized reading nook. A uh, picture of mommy when I was little here and some of my little keepsakes and then some of their favorite books. So this is a sweet little space for them to come and get to rock here. And as you can see, a gentle, sweet reminder to relax on the sign because that's what we want in this area. We want it to be fun, relaxing, cozy, also inviting. So now you know, this is our little apartment that we have redone. We did it on a budget. A lot of it had to do with getting a great paint color. We kept everything neutral so that we knew that it was going to grow and the kiddos would have lots of their primary colored toys. And I will show you some storage for that next. And hello, this is our storage space for all of the kiddos. If you want to come this way, first I have to note, we actually changed the carpet. So this carpet goes from in here all the way to what we call the apartment. And that was super important because you know we're going to sit down on the floor and play. So these are a lot of the toys that we organize for the kiddos. So we've got magnet tiles here. We have some of the baby toys. We have books, fun cars, and some other little small activities. Down here we have like the baby doll dress up stuff. And over here, as you can check out, we just, again, we stuck with the gray theme and the white, we kept it super simple. And we have some activities in one. We have some puzzles in one with lots of different toys. And then down here is the area that we've got lots of our big toys. So the nice thing about this is it can easily just be pulled out. And we kept all of this space open so that the kids could play here. So that way if we need to close the door on them and they just have their fun playtime, it totally works. And because all of these are so easy, the kids can put their toys back, which is obviously the name of the game. So that again is one of the extras that was super important, making sure we were putting in the containers to organize all the cool kids stuff. And now I want to show you what's back this way. Okay, so here it was really important to contain a lot of different things. We love photos and boy, did we have fun going through some of those grandmommy photos recently. That is what I decided to house in this very large bin. So what we can do is we just slide this out, pop the top off, and it's got lots of our different albums in it that we can go through. Everything is contained in one place. So it actually made that really easy when it was time to go hunting for all of the photos for her. Um, next, we have some of the larger item kid toys. We put these up here because even if they were to reach up to get them, they're not too heavy, so it's not so bad. Uh, but also they're easily accessible for us. And then again, they can just play down here on the floor. So then we've got games for the bigger kids. And then we also decided for this to be an additional space to wrap holiday presents, especially if you wanna come up here and do that in secret. So that season is upon us. So we did some nice long ones for those really long rolls of wallpaper, wallpaper, no, wrapping paper. And then we also did a little Lego station down here as well. That's certainly my son's favorite. And he pulls these out and pulls this out, does his Lego creation. So everything here is really contained in a way that works well for everybody in the family. And that's the name of the game. And that's also how we get organized in three simple steps. Thanks for watching this video. For more resources to organize and style your busy life in three simple steps, head over to everythingwithstyle.com and connect with me on Instagram at everythingwithstylemom.
don't forget to check out the Moms Organization Motivation Podcast over on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, any of your favorite platforms. And if you love this video, it would make me so happy if you would subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching and happy organizing.